To use the intersect knife tool, in edit mode, you need to select an intersecting mesh. Then press Ctrl F to bring up the faces menu, and select intersect knife. It can either be done with an entire mesh, or an individual face. Whatever selection you have, it will work as long as you have only one of the intersecting meshes selected, not both. A quick tip, to quickly select an entire mesh, put your mouse cursor over the mesh and press the L key. This selects all linked geometry. The tool will only work if there are intersecting faces in the mesh. And here there aren't any intersecting faces here, but we do have an edge that's going through the face. Though it's not going to work. It has to be a full face. Let's look at some of the settings of the Intersect Knife tool. First you have the source. Selected and unselected will operate between the selected and unselected geometry. If I have this selected, everything that's unselected that intersects will be cut. Self-intersect will operate on the overlapping geometry of a single mesh. This is one mesh and it's overlapping itself. The next set of options is the separate mode. How do you want your objects to be separated after the intersection slice? All will split the geometry at the new edges, meaning each set of faces at the intersection will become their own separate meshes. Cut will keep each side of the intersection or intersecting mesh separate still, but will cut edges at the intersection. They're still part of the mesh. Merge will merge all the geometry from the intersection into one mesh. With all of these, you still have the geometry inside, it's not like a boolean. And that is the Intersect Knife Tool.